Hey, Justin Dyson here, Dyson Apiaries. Uh, just brought some bees home from the mountains and uh, it's hot. Um, I just want to show you a few things that we're doing here. Um, kind of doing multiple things with one, one trip. Uh, I left them on the trailer last night when I brought them home and I'm here at my home apiary. These bees actually go somewhere else, but I'm gonna get the honey off, the final honey off of them and get them kind of set up for winter while they're here. And then I'm gonna haul them um, down the road to where they're going, but stick right with us. So this time of year you really have to work quick on everything you're doing because uh, especially this trailer bees just came home last night so they're still out orienting and when they when they go out they're going to find the closest source of nectar or honey they can find and if that's another beehive so be it it's another beehive and, and then you have a problem on your hands so uh, everything we do here has got to be pretty quick um, we don't want to spill any honey drip any honey anywhere if we can help it keep things covered up um, if you notice um, it's kind of hard to tell but what I have here is a, I have a deep this is my this is my configuration that I run through the honey through the nectar flows uh, from spring all the way through the sirewood which these bees came home from I have a deep I have a queen excluder and then I put my supers above there that I that I take off um, so what we're gonna do here is during the winter time I run these bees as a double deep configuration it helps me uh, ensure that they have plenty of stores it uh it allows me to, to it allows for them to have a, a nice big build up in the spring with that extra space for that queen to lay around honey stores um and it also i, I sell nukes in the spring so i'm able to recover those frames one of the challenges i have right now is is i didn't get enough deep frames drawn out during the nectar flows um so i'm gonna have to work them to um get some frames drawn out here on on sugar syrup and uh i've got a couple couple pretty good sized fields of buckwheat planted and things like that so we're going to work these bees back up and draw that comb and get them filled up it's going to take a lot of it's going to take a lot of sugar to get them there um but what we're going to do is i'm, I'm going to take these supers off and you see over here i've already done it um i'm going to take these top two supers i'm going to set them off i'm going to take a queen excluder i'm going to set it aside and I'm gonna go in the bottom, I'm gonna pull one frame, hopefully just one frame. I'm gonna make sure that they're queen right, make sure they don't have any disease or anything like that. And a lot of times I can tell that with one frame, depending on which frame you pull. But then I'm gonna keep that frame aside. So what I'm doing is basically setting a full, full super foundation on. Um, I'll show you what I have. So what I've set up here is, is my winter feed super basically. Um, I've been running these two gallon, two frame deep feeders. Um, you see the robbing is just it started, so I got to work quick here. But instead of putting full frames of foundation, what I really like to do is find maybe if I have a few honey frames I've salvaged from from something, whether it be a dead out or or uh, maybe I just didn't extract all my wildflower. I like to put one good frame of honey because the thing is these bees, the bottom box is is completely full. A brood uh, there's very little honey down there if any and these bees will starve to death in in, in days um, which we're gonna we're gonna start feeding too but this just helps make sure that they have a little in addition it helps get them started drawing some comb uh, if you can get the bees up there it's helpful and that's that's why I said I'm gonna pull a frame of brood from the bottom um, and I'm gonna replace that frame kind of on the third fourth frame from the side I'm gonna replace that with a frame of foundation if I have some drone comb, excellent. But in this case, I, I'm completely out. So I'm going to take and uh, I'm going to take. I've, I've set this up with three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six frames of foundation, and I have a frame of honey. And I'm going to take that frame of brood from the bottom. I'm going to pull it up here in the top and just put it right here in the middle. And what that's going to do is that's going to pull some young bees up, and and, and hopefully the queen as well. And if we can get that queen laying up here, they will, they will pull that comb, even though it's August. Um, 
A lot of times the bees get a little ornery about drawing comb this year. They're not in expansion mode, they're in survival mode at this point. So they don't want to waste the resources drawing comb, but we can trick them um, sometimes. So we're going to pull a frame of brood up here and then we're going to start feeding and that's how we're going to run them through the winter. It's going to take probably six, seven feedings to get these bees to draw most of this out if they'll cooperate. That's what we're going to start doing here. I'm going to jump into this hive and again, we got to kind of work quick. As I mentioned, I run these bees uh, in a single deep configuration through the nectar flow. Um, I just make a little more honey um, and it's uh, they're a little lighter to move too, like that. So, um, and again, selling nukes in the spring, a lot of times I don't have a surplus of drone comb when it comes time to uh, set these up for making honey. I'm just gonna set these aside. And one of the reasons I'm setting them back on here is because once I start pulling this honey, um, the bees go crazy. So, I, uh, I'm gonna kind of wait, set them on top, and some of the bees will kind of drift down out of them anyway while we're waiting. I'm just gonna pull a frame here. Hopefully I pick a good one. Then we have eggs and a little bit of seal brood on that frame. Um, luckily, I don't see disease. Uh, looks like they just kind of shifted their brood nest toward the back for some reason. But I'm gonna keep that frame. I'm gonna take this one, put it right here. This is a four frame over, and typically they'll draw that out pretty quick with some with some resources coming in. Um, down in the bottom like that. What's challenging is to get them to come up in the top. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. So I've got a frame of honey up here. I've actually got a frame with a little bit of comb drawn on it there. And then I've got this brood frame. And this is gonna pull some bees up in the top and hopefully, hopefully help us get this comb drawn out before winter. Now another thing with setting these supers back on top, if Rob and putting that quick scooter in there, if the robin gets too bad before I get done, I can come back and take these supers off later. So as, as you see there now, we have the hive set up for winter. I didn't get that box very straight, but there we go. Um, and as soon as I pull these honey supers off, I'll start feeding. Um, but they're set up, got a little bit of brood up here, pull some young bees up, get started drawing that comb. Hopefully attract the queen up a little bit. It really entices them. These are good strong colonies of bees that's coming off the nectar flows. So as long as we, uh, as long as we convince them with some with some uh, liquid encouragement there, um, they'll uh, they'll probably jump right on and start drawing those combs out. Anyway, that's what we do, kind of setting up for winter. Um, next step is, of course, it's time to treat. So I got to get these supers off, and that's going to be one of the next things we're going to be doing here. First week of August, I'm trying to get it on. I'm uh, I'm really about a week late from what I wanted to get this done, but hey, it is what it is. You get it done when you can, and uh, so we'll get the treatments on. As soon as I get these supers off, we'll get some treatments on these bees and get them set up at the other apiary. Hope this video was helpful. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.